guys this is mast and welcome back to some more predecessor unfortunately graystone afk to start we might get like cringe invaded or something off of off of that wave i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen off of it they've got a uh, i want to say super sweaty man the real terms of this game is just a lot of people have been playing it a lot longer because while it did recently go into open beta before you could still play it well free to play open beta um you could just purchase it before for i think like 20 dollars or something like that so yeah, we've got a master, I think Decker is her name, something like that. They got a master that, they got a master something else, they got a something not quite master somebody. And uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Because all these people have played so much more, know so much more. Whenever, whenever I see those skins, man, it spooks the hell out of me. And I'm assuming a lot of the time I'm going against people that would have those skins if they'd bother to put like the money into, and I just don't even know any better. But still, it's spooky. We're playing Chimera, we're playing the jungle, we're finally diving into a non-offlane slash solo lane role, which I think will be a good time. We could maybe be ganking, but this guy's getting absolutely bopped, so I feel like that gank looks a lot less juicy. Yeah, she has already healed the poke that he dealt. He is not. Looking a lot less juicy. Looking a hell of a lot less juicy. We will keep farming. But things to talk about with the jungle roll is, as you can see, a lot slower clear. Normally, we're also... Okay, we may be gank mid in a sec. Normally, ganking early just tends to mean getting flash, unless they're actually really low. Do a little something. Oh, let's level the Q this game. Let's go for a farm game. And let's try and not jump on her yet and see if we get a stick. Yup. Yup. Played that pretty well. Played that pretty well. Ooh! Your boy is so clean with the baby blink. You already know the baby blink crosses over. You already know it. We dip. We go farm. I'm not going to lie. I might be over. I think I played that literally perfect. I think I played that master smite player perfect right there. Was it a little bit free? Maybe. But I landed things and I landed them on my new sense. How neat is that? I just changed my sense because I realized I've been trolling the shit out of myself. I got some like CSGO sensitivity on this game. Um, so I finally upped it. Supposedly only a little bit. It feels like I upped it by like 50% and it's feeling a lot better. I will maybe just like flick super hard and miss something dumb at some point though. Oh man, I forgot to change my ward. Maybe this game, maybe this game I can find out whether you can do that later or not. I did, people told me about the vision tab. Um, I think this is the first video since my big recording day. So I have gotten better since all those videos. Let's go ahead and back for sledge here unless they push up, which they do seem to push up. I think they're going to have a word for this. Let's do a little something. Let's get our E so we have a cleanse. We get in here. Oh, we get in here. This should just be a... Uh, oh. Okay. Well, if my E was a little better. Nice. If my E was a little better, I think we're maybe killing the ADC there. I'm going to be a little cheeky here. We're going to bring it around town. Or we go on the Fae. I want to see if we can one shot. Oh, I think their ADC's backing. Let's be a little cheeky. Normally, I think it's good to back here. Uh, did I troll my positioning with this? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I think she just dies. And then I'm saving my jump in case we ever, whatever. <laughs> in case we ever need it. At that point, she's just dead, so we'll just pop it. I don't know why nobody ever took this. I'll take it for myself. All right, let's go back to base. Yeah, let's go get item here. Damn, what a start to this one. My God. We are so far bullying, ah, uh, I was going to say the non-master skins, but also I'm assuming, like, I don't think their mid was one. So I think ADC or support was, yeah, it was probably support. By the way, this, this character, Richter, I think is his name, nightmare character, man. Normally so far, I see people feed with him a lot. To be, to be honest, he's a lot like Emir meets Sylvanas, where he's just very immobile, but absurd CC really annoying to deal with. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be some stuff where, like, this character is pretty good at dealing with CC because he's got a straight-up cleanse-type ability. Like, he's kind of, he can kind of geb-shield himself effectively. So, he can pop a cleanse-slash-heal. My girl is getting in there. She needs to stop. I will continue to bully. Oh, look who's right here! Oh! Don't think her flash is back up, is it? If it was, we would have chased it. Actually, I can we chase it? I think we can chase it with the R. 
Maybe if she gets it off with a little bit of distance, we can't or something. Should probably just go straight up to red here, but whatever. Damn, what a start to this one. We're popping. Love to see it. So yeah, the jungle clear in this going to be a bit slower than it is in Smite. Definitely not is uh, kind of quick paced. Oh, I did my thing. Now I rotate as it is in Smite, which I'm not really a big fan of, but I'm also getting used to. Like this is just something that's normal. League, Dota, and Pred have a slower game pace compared to Smite. So while I've grown used to and enjoy the fast pace of Smite, it's also something where I think in this is I just spend more time in it. It'll feel better. Nice. We have perfect money for our back. Oh, uh, hang on. Backs aside, this girl's oom. Um. God, I still got to figure out. Somebody tell me if I can rebind the cancel VGS key. I know that's unbelievably niche. By the way, I don't know if it's actually a thing. Okay, she just has a jump. I didn't know that. That's annoying. Don't know if we're getting to kill her or not. I'm assuming she's pathing towards jungle. Got a little bit of a body block. Got a hell of a lot of a body block. And she has a jump again. Okay, well, I really did try. <laughs> I don't know. Is that Bellica? Wait. That's Bellica, right? Why did it say... I based it off, like, the loading screen art that it, um... Her name was different. Decker or something. Is that just, like, her first name in lore? I don't know. Maybe I'm mixing up two characters that look similar. Yeah, she did just jump twice, so... <laughs> Not much we're doing about that, at least with our flash down. That's too bad. It sucks. It wasn't even the, like I was so ready. She hopped down. I've finally learned at this point. Not finally learned, but I've I've gotten pretty used to it. it's like, OK, that hop down very much people playing with the ability to hop back up using one of those boom plants, which I still don't know the name of, by the way. Don't care. I like boom plant. And uh, no, she can just jump. She can just be like, just kidding. I have a jump and then I can be like, I'm a noob. You did not outplay me. I just literally do not know better. But she doesn't get to know that, so she feels proud. Tragic. Anyways, um, probably talk about the character kit a little bit for anybody out of the loop. Chimera seems to be, I don't remember if I've said this already, he seems to be the easiest jungler. He's very much like Bakasura, very W key jungler, lots of sustain in the jungle, which normally I don't think is a thing other than just itemizing into it. So he gets sustained from just smacking up buff slash people and that makes it so he's generally going to be full HP when he's hitting things in the jungle. He's not going to really be losing HP to camps. Whereas otherwise, the few other junglers I've played are pretty frequently getting to like two thirds half HP hitting camps. Oh, and I forgot to see if I can get sentries. They're far enough back in duo. I don't think we're getting to go too hard here. I was hoping to go mid since it looked like she just killed somebody. Wait, she died? How did she die? Am I so out of the loop? I thought she was half HP. Do a little speed clear. Do a little, do a little something. Maybe go gank a solo lane. Maybe smack this. Should have queued that. It would have just been faster. So, yeah, for the abilities on Chimera, we've got a Q which gives us crazy attack speed procs on hits at a pretty decent pace considering how high the attack speed is. Let's see, do I get a kill her ever? She is playing very far back and then probably going back to base. I think we'll just look to go back mid. Do feel like I'm wasting some potential farming time at the moment looking for all these baby ganks that aren't turning into anything. Ooh, she comes to this. Where does she go from here? Not there. Gotcha. Wait, you backing? She placed a ward. Okay, that was, I don't know what the hell just happened. I don't know if she's weird or if I'm weird or what that was. Because <laughs> she sat here for two years and put a ward down and then walked out mid. And I feel like... If she was just like, if she just moved at a normal pace, my gank would have worked out actually perfect right there. So, yeah, too bad for me. Yeah, our Q gives us big attack speed. The reason I'm leveling this is not even for DPS. It seems like realistically leveling the jump for PvP is better. Oh, do we get to do this? Oh! Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky there. Um, oh, my, okay, my boy is doing things. We're just going in mid. I have flash. Hang on, hang on. We do a little counter gank here. Big bop. I should have eat that. I did not realize that was something we'd have to deal with. I played this pretty poorly. You have a, you have a, yeah. I played this really poorly, to be honest. I think how it's are hard carried. I feel like the rest of the game I've played pretty clean. My God, I don't know what I was doing on that one. Part of it's I really have not played against Countess there. 
So I was trying to just clean the girl up, and then I got giant CC, and I was not ready for it one bit. And I should have been... Okay, this game is not going great overall, is it? Dueling is really struggling over there. But they're, like, pushing towers, so I don't feel like I get to do that much about it. <laughs> We're dying, but we can't stop! That's a classic. That's a certified smite classic. Yeah, they did get tower. I mean, maybe it's just kind of, maybe it's like what I've had in some of my offlane games where like, okay, they're dying, but does it matter? But is it relevant deaths? Maybe not. All right, let's go back. We're just gonna go recommended build for this. So the rest of the abilities on Chimera for anybody out of the loop are, we have a cleanse on our E that gives us a shield, or not a shield, a heal. And um, just cleanses debuffs, which just seems to just straight up mean, you know, like kind of like beads. And then a very short little window after for 0.25 seconds where we continue to have CC immunity. It's on a long cooldown. So basically the idea with it is either preemptively or right as we're getting CC'd, we're trying to pop that and just continue doing the thing we're doing, which is holding left click. And then our jump, our right click slash R for me is just a lock on almost like a... God, what's the example? I had a good example, and I have lost it entirely. Okay, support's a little bit nearby. We're about to get our ult back up. The Fae is just... This girl has so little map... Okay, never mind. I have so little map awareness. She's killing my mid. My bad. Oh, I really don't get a stick, huh? Okay, her flash is down. Uh, I accidentally trolled that. He's getting in there, I'll get in there. Okay, I have been completely baited. My, hmm. In all fairness, we are maybe dying anyways. However, that one tower shot that I got baited into taking by my solo laner that absolutely shit his pants did really, really troll me. And I think we probably get a one for one if he just tanked a tower shot like a big boy. Unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. This is tricky. I don't know what the Fae does, and she's unbelievably aggro. So I feel like I have to constantly gank her because she's, like, putting herself out of position. Why does it do this, man? Because she puts herself out of position, and then uh, I just have to, like, figure out on the fly when I press my buttons on her. This is a character that I have seen almost nobody play. So that's too bad. Yeah, we have a lock on jump, and then our ultimate is really strong. It's like just kind of big cone stun slash damage ability, where you're sort of rooting yourself in place, rooting them in place, and just doing big damage. And definitely tends to be something where very often ult equals kill on this guy. Like, I feel like out of the characters I've played, this ultimate feels pretty reliably strong compared to a lot. All right, we're just panning through. I'm just going to go farm. By the way, their jungler is fed as hell. Maybe that's the guy that had the, <laughs> the bastard skin. Because it was the Countess. Yeah, I really don't know her kit. I haven't run into her much. And I very much, when I have run into her, for some reason people have been playing her mid. I don't know if it's like League where mid at least is available to assassins or what the deal is with that. Maybe it's just people with huge egos that want to play the assassin mid. God, I don't know... I want to gank both lanes here, but Greystone's banking. Awkward timing there. Yeah, dual lane just ran mid, by the way. This is what this is. Bro, he canceled that? Oh my, and I'm going to die for it, huh? Maybe not. Okay, they are running at me a little bit. Dual lane's coming back, so we might get to do something. Yeah, I got crazy... CC there. Oh, I wanted it the the Countess. Nice. We got a good E there to get out of the count Countess. That probably saved my life. Just being quick with it. That's too bad. I don't know if she uh, juked me or if I just scuffed my ult there, but I tried to like very quickly. <laughs> I knew she was coming for my ass. I tried to preemptively CC and I don't know if she got it through, through it with her own ult or if I just like scuffed it. That was good though. Yeah, this is such an awkward game right now. I feel like it started so insanely clean for me where you're just able to gank lane after lane, and now we're getting all these messy fights. I'm not getting the 1v1s of this character so nasty yet. All right, we're gonna keep greed farming a little bit. I don't remember, how far am I? Nice. I think we actually might get money for item right here. I need to get in the habit. I never really E in the jungle on this guy. 
We basically have money. Oh, we'll just back. Need to get in the habit of just taking the free heal because I feel like I'm never really running out of mana on him. Go get Basilisk. So this, this item's kind of cool. I'm trying to think. I think we built it on Greystone. But basically, when we're doing a lot of damage through autos and abilities, we're able to shred armor, which is just fine. That's mostly going to stand out late game. Um, or for ganking a tanky solo laner. But then we're also getting, once we've done enough shredding, we're kind of getting like a kin size proc. So, on this guy who's got the crazy fast autos and tends to be sticking a lot, I feel like that makes a lot of sense to build. It also gives us more health, makes us able to stay alive longer and kind of do our somewhat bruisery thing we do on them. Like he's kind of an overtime just murders you type character. So that helps for that as well. And then it also stacks up the passive from, I want to call it Sledge, I can't remember what it's called, from Overlord. Hi ma'am. Big stun. Nice. I wanted to see if I could get her flash sooner there. Okay, I wasted my thing. I think we eventually live with flash if we need to. I'm wondering how it's her to do things here. Oh, she is feeling this one! Okay, you know what she gets to? She's gonna ult me, I think. I don't think she's ulted yet. Yeah, I'll just try and take a little tactical disengage real quick. Okay, now you might be feeling it too much, lady. Never mind. Never mind. You're not. Thought we'd get to do a little more there, because we got our boy nearby. I got her low. Did she actually ult at some point and I just didn't know any better? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, do not die to this. <laughs> uh, let's get... I feel like FizzD... Unless Countess has magic damage and I don't know any better. FizzD seems good here. So I think let's just go this. Oh, you know what I could have gone? Wait a minute. It's not recommended. Draconum is kind of... Uh, no, maybe this is better. What's this do? Because this gives us health... And we kind of get a uh, mantle passive off of it. No, I think let's go this. This actually might be disgusting. Because if I'm sticking to somebody and getting turned on, like Countess, then I think we can stun her off and then bop her some more. I really like, um... <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's kind of a stupid little thing to like. Uh, can I solo this? I probably can. I might get punished in a sec. Since it's just mini prime. Where's the knockup at, my guy? Did I accidentally juke it? Oh, there it is. I can probably perfectly time my Ida to not get hit by that. Oh, that was... Okay. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't know what I'm doing, and maybe it looked cooler than it actually was. I think we basically stunned her into FG abilities. <laughs> I didn't really mean to do it, but it was so cool looking, man, that she, she ended up eating aggro somehow. Or at least having it line up with those abilities. And we just put it on her. That looked sick. Don't do things to me. Hey. Hey. Okay, we're fine. I don't really know. I'm like, I still don't even, I can't tell which hero she is, man. So I don't exactly know what we're getting into with her. I'm going to try and just mostly not engage in any spot like that. Even though realistically we might just be able to win it. Oh, we get a little zoomy. We get a free kill on their solo lane. Or not solo lane. I don't know why I even said that. Their duo lane. Oh, there's actually two here. That makes it harder. Hello! Yep. Okay. You know what? That's fair. You know what? That's fair. I don't know what I just ate. I have baited them all. It was not tactical. But it did just kind of work out that way. Yeah, they got super baited. I did not expect random ass jungler there. <laughs> I don't know... I don't know if they had it warded. I don't know if that really just was just unfortunate timing for me. I think if it was duo, we were chilling. Oh, I actually need to get in here. Whoops. I need to do a little murdering right here. Hello. Shit. I assumed her dash would be down. It was not. To be honest, I think we basically don't get to play it in a different way. Because if I run at her like a dumbass, I feel like there's no way that's good there. I don't have flash. Let's see. Oh, you killed her. Oh, gotcha. Richter's gonna greet and chase. Just kidding. Just kidding. There's a girl here. I think I might have pad poorly. 
You still coming? What are we doing? We get greedy. We get greedy. Yeah, I got a solo here. Just come and try it. See what happens. Sir, this is mine. Sir, this is mine. <laughs> he actually went back. I didn't think he was coming for this. Uh, Yeah, we'll just keep working on this. Oh my god, buy one. By the way, can somebody tell me, um, does base regen for any reason amplify my passive on Chimera? I've been assuming not. It doesn't look like it. Because it's just saying it grants you spirit regen, which is X amount of regen. So, like, I've been assuming it's just kind of its own thing. But, I do feel like it, in my head that was smite. Not that it matters. Like, I feel like that'd be a cool thing to build a little bit around, is amplifying that regen. What did I finish, man? Why do I smack now? Is it just these buffs? Red buff, orange buff, gray buff going crazy? Perhaps. Let's see if we get a- Oh, he's doing the graystone thing! Hold up! Papa's getting in here. Oh, Papa- Oh, and we're popping double ice? Little bit of double ice? Ma'am, stop! <laughs> That's a big old- Big bug! Oh! Oh! I don't know what that was. Okay, I am gonna guess that the Fey, who happens to basically be Persephone, is actually basically Persephone. And did just do a Persephone ult. Because I just got sucked into a plant, and I don't like it one bit. Boom. Nice, that was a really good ult there. It's something I'm getting used to. This It's kind of like a slow ability. It's got like a decent bit of an animation time compared to most of the abilities in this game. And then it's not very big. So trying to get those double ults in spot like that, in spots like that are so strong. Oh my, she's getting beamed. <laughs> do I need to learn phase? So I can do the, uh, the E shell thing. So I can say that I'm beaming. I miss that, man. We need to do an E shell video soon. Even though we're not gonna do it because there's no fun mage items. True story. True story. Playing a mage and just simply building them? Does that sound like mass content to you? Not that much. Oh my god, ADC is getting late game. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe Penta if they're not already partially dead. I'm assuming team is going to go win game without me. I don't know why I'm bothering to do blue buff. Like, I, I am very aware they're all dead and that our team has been sieging base, and I really did just kind of keep, do, keep doing blue buff anyways. Y'all got carried. Okay. 7-2 Chimera is also doing plenty of things. Really trying to talk that shit right now to your own team. Really doing that. Oh, wait. Is that support just hyping themselves up? That might be that. <laughs> that might just be like support. Be like, don't forget me. I led to this. I did things. I don't think I do things here. They're spawning. We have zero teammates around. They're all going to Fang Tooth and shit. We will dip and do a little farming. Why do I do no damage now? Those buffs really were carrying me, weren't they? I think orange buff might be a little crazy. Or maybe it's red buff. I don't know. Oh my god. Give me a last hit. Papa needs farm. Not really. I think we I think we win game off next fight. Alright, what are we doing here? We're not quite grouped for this. Decker, what are we doing? You AFK? A little bit. Little bit AFK. Okay, can you not do this? This is cringe. This character's not fun at all. I think I am getting her confused with, with Bellica or whatever. And they just look similar. See if these guys need any help cleaning up. Uh oh. You got that, man? He's got it. Oh? Ma'am? I helped. I helped. Let's go in the game. They kind of did it for us. Whatever. Yeah, Decker. Does she. She looks like the exact same as Velika, right? I am extending the end of this video so that I can look at these two people and we can like try and figure out the difference. Are they twins? Is that the lore thing? Is it we thought it would be funny to make two heroes that are literally from the same womb at the same time? I don't know why I had to put it that way. That just makes it gross. Continue. Get me out of here. Stats. 
Okay, we did get a little bit carried. However, however, no, we, we got a little bit carried. We got a little bit carried. I did things early game, then she just kind of played ADC late game. I feel like I basically played well, and she just got really fed and did ADC things on her own, and just kind of like, I don't know, it just happened. Like, I don't think I really did too much goofing. Heroes. Decker? Yep, yep, okay, she's a nerd. Bellica, bro. You, ready? you have got to be kidding me. Time for Why do all white women look the same? My God. <laughs> They're actually identical, man. Okay, short haircut in a bob. You ready? Short haircut in a ponytail. Armor is slightly different. One has a gun. Time to crush dreams. Wait, is this a gun? No, one has a stamp. This is a gun slash stamp. The other has two guns. Time My God. Unless there is some weird lore shit that I am unaware of. Maybe we could make the heroes just a little bit different. Huh? Hot take. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down